everybody and welcome to TechLayer. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to control your laptop, PC or a Mac from your iPhone or your Android phone. It's a very simple procedure. Just you need to download an application known as TeamViewer. It's a two-step process. First, we'll set up the software on the PC or the Mac and then we'll download the same and set up it on our mobile phone. So you can go to this link. I'll place this link in the description of the video. You can download it based on your PC or Windows. I'm using a Windows, that's why I'll be downloading the Windows one. So you can download the Team Viewer from here and you can install it. The installation is pretty simple. You just need to follow the on-screen instructions. So once you have downloaded, you can open the application. So here your application is open. So what this application will do is it will automatically generate an ID for you and a password for you. So this will, the password keeps on changing when the new session is open. If you close this and open it, the password will change. So what you need to do is just need to keep this in mind and you need to note it down somewhere, the username and password for the session. Now we'll go to the mobile phone and download the same application there. So let's switch to our Android phone. Now on your Android or your Apple iPhone, you can go to the Play Store or your iTunes respectively and download the application known as TeamViewer, the same application. So I have already downloaded this and I will already installed this application. So I'm just going to click on open. So here in the first section you'll find connect and you will the software will ask you for the team viewer id so this is the same id which is displayed on the on your pc when you install it so i'll type the id it will ask you for the password enter the password So here you can see it will give you some interaction information. Just skip this. Now here you can see uh, my complete desktop is visible on my phone. I am able to control everything from here. Now I can go to the documents. Just going to click it. You can see that I am here. I can open all the documents. I can do all the modifications from here so in this way you can you know control your laptop pc or a mac from your android or your iphone so the second the second option which i'm going to show you is i'm i'm going to create an account i'm going to create an account for team viewer and with that account, if I'm logged in, I can you know, see all my machines which are attached to that login ID. So I've already account created. You can sign up if you don't have the account and just type in whatever email ID and password you have. And just sign in. So the same operation what you did here we need to do it on the our laptop or the pc so we'll switch over to the laptop and we'll do the same operation so here in a team viewer i'll select the second option here assign device to this account and i'll log in from the same account which i have used it on my android phone here if you don't have you can create and use the same uh, accounts on both your devices And I'm gonna assign this device to this account and I've done the same way around on my Android phone so I'm gonna select this option also grant easy access and I'm gonna switch to my Android phone once again 
if I go to my team viewer application here I can if I go to my computers you can see one system is appearing here this is nothing but the same system which we have logged in using the same account which we have created here so if I go to Cyberdyne I can directly connect it without even entering my password so here again I have logged in and I can control it from here there are a lot of options available you can also select the keyboard you can also go to the settings you can also go to the windows key from here itself so in this way you can control your PC from your Android phone or the iPhone the procedure for the Mac and iPhone is same if you are using on the Mac you can install the team viewer for Mac and on your iPhone you can install the same version and you can use the same procedure for this. I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. If you are having any queries related to the video please feel free to comment on the video. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. Once again thanks for watching.